convert or what has been said by the special guest of honor into English for a better communication. Uh, but in the first place, I would like to apologize to the district heads for the bridging of the protocol. Uh, ideally, if, uh, if the uh, district head spoke, in fact, we are just closing. But it's just a brief of, a bridge of protocol, sir. We are very sorry. Um, the speaker uh, prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shine our faces on the day of judgment when the faces, some faces, do uh, shine white while others are being painted black. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all our faces on the day of judgment to be brightened and shine. He also said that he is full of love. He loves us all. He even loved us even before he saw us. When he saw us, he was so excited that he saw what he has been expecting and more. What they were expecting to see from us and what they saw in reality is far greater than what they expected. So he and his colleagues are very happy to meet their brothers and sisters, those who recite Quran in this state. He also said that they met Nigerians in the Islamic University of Medina where they studied together in the same department. They were very humble colleagues, honest and hardworking ones. So through them, through those colleagues, they loved Nigerians even before they visit the country. So when they came, they have seen better than what they have been expecting and what they were even seeing from their colleagues. He also said the competition is going to be very technical, very rigid and technical. So it is expected from all participants to tighten their belts in order to face the panel. The styles of the recitation is going to be very thorough. Very thorough in the sense that all stones are going to be turned up. Once you are part of the contestant, then make sure that you are going to be asked all that is expected to be asked in that field. And he also explained that there are five categories. There are five categories that the contestants are going to vie for it. One is the complete Quran with the ten styles of the recitation, the major ten, the major ten styles of recitation, with the memorization of Shatibiya, Adurra, and uh, all the books that are related to that science. And it is a requisite that the contestant should not be more than 40 years. And as a matter of condition, that all the contestants must not graduate from any, from any university or any institution in that field of recitation. You should not be a graduate of any institution where you have acquired the qualification of recitation. If you have attended, then you also is expected to impart, not to come and contest. That is the wisdom behind that. So all the contestants must make sure that they have not attended any institution where they are going to qualify in recitations. And the, the second category, the second category 
is the 10 minor recitations in complete Quran with the memorization of Shatibiyah and its likes. And the third category is the complete Quran with Tajweed and the seven styles of recitation. Seven styles of recitation. And the contestant should not be more than 25 years. The contestant, the age bracket matters. The age bracket matters because you should not be more than 25 years in the third category. So in the second category, one should not be more than 35 years. The, the third category, one will not be more than 30 years. And the fourth category is the complete Quran with two styles of recitation, with only two. And the contestant should not be more than 20 years. And the last category is the complete Quran with only one style of recitation and the contestant should not be more than 15 years. These are the conditions. Could you imagine a, a, a contestant not more than 15 years has committed Quran by heart with a form of recitation? This is really challenging. If me at, in my age cannot recite Quran, please, what excuse will I give before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It's really challenging. If you as mother cannot recite Quran, even by opening the Quran to see and read, your daughter may go to Islamia, come back and say, Mom, I have been given this chapter. Please recite it for me. Oh, you look at you. You are very dull. You don't recite. Since then, you were not trying just to... It's really challenging. It's really challenging. This tells you that, this tells you that you can't do without Quran. You can do, especially mothers. You can't do without Quran. Don't you, don't you be proud of your son or daughter. Beat her chest or beat his own chest and say, my mom taught me Quran. This chapter, I have, I have, I have taken it from the mouth of my mother. It is my mother who taught me this chapter. Is it not interesting? You are his teacher. You are her teacher. Mothers nowadays, mothers in those days, were the teachers of their kids. Today, you have no time. Most of us do give excuses that we don't have time for kids. I'm telling you, we are breeding kids who, are, who shall also have no our times. Whenever you say you don't have time for a kid, then your kid also shall grow and say he has no time for you. Therefore, let's be very conscious to our homework. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our effort. Thank you so much. Oh, internal. to narrate one story to tell you how Quran is passionate he said There's, there was a man in Medina he could not recite Quran he, can't, he, he, he was not able to recite Quran but whenever he, 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 he goes to masjid that the prophet most he gets someone who can recite and say, please recite Quran for me. I want to listen to it. Subhanallah, this man died while listening to Quran. He was not reciting. But he was conscious and he has it so passion to listen to Quran. Even though he can't recite, but he was passionate to listen to it. Subhanallah, a death, angel of death, took him away while he was reciting Quran. See how Rahmah reached this man while he was listening to Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us in the Rahmah. Thank you so much. MashaAllah, Jazakumullah khairan. Ya Doktor. Allah isakadar khairi.
We are so blessed to have so many mashayikh here and they have given us their best. Alhamdulillah. We are so blessed in this place. I would like to call on Malama Asia to give us a vote of thanks, inshallah. Malama Bismillah. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you that uh, attended this uh, opening ceremony. And inshallah, we're going to take this program throughout uh, one week. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us through. And may Allah take all of you back to your final destination. Thank you once again. May Allah bless us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أضيت فإنك تكدي بالحق ولا يكوب عليك إنه لا يزل ما وليت ولا عز ما عليت تبارك ربنا تعليت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إلينا سرار المستقيم سرار الذين أنعمت عليهم وإلى المقبول عليهم ونطالين آمين ما شاء الله الله يسكر الكريم. We thank you all for coming and we wish you a safe journey back to your place إن شاء الله.